much. I, uh, everybody in the neighborhood knows me by now. You know, I go to the to the restaurant nearby, and they go like, "Jaya!" <laughs> so sweet. Um, yeah, we have an idea for a video this morning, which is five sexy things that you do that turn me on. So I'm going to be talking to to Shelly here. It's uh, the things that that this woman does that really make me feel really happy and turned on and uh, activated. And um, how do you feel about that one? Is it good? Yeah, I'm Are you into ready to it. go public with this? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Um, you know, it's also to give you some examples about me as a man, how I respond to this woman. Mm. Because it's, uh, you might, you know, you as a woman, you might discover that there are certain things that you can be doing around men that are going to be activating that man into joy mm. and bliss and, and bringing lots of juice into your, into your relationship or your connections. So here we go. The first one. Do you have a guess? Um, no, I don't. You have no idea what's sexy about you. <laughs> Okay, the first one is the fact that um, you make lots of sounds. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you haven't been to the, on the dance floor with this woman, here is, the way it looks like is like... Mm, oh, mm, mm. It's like it's a walking, evolving, dancing orgasm. Mm, mm, oh. So this, uh, this sound really creates... Uh, uh, a resonance in me that that mm. that is that is really really powerful. It turns mm. me on. It activates me. It makes me it makes me feel how much pleasure you are having to to be in your body. And this is so good. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's really pleasurable to be in my body. So. Yeah. So women out there, if you <laughs> make <to> sounds, out, <laughs> make sounds. Exactly. You know, if we are if we are right here and mm. just like in front of each other, just like this. Mm. But then we start making sounds and we go like. You know, it's like, it just mm. activates your orgasmic trance. Yeah. That's it. It's as simple as that. Try it out. Um, the second one, this one is also along the, the line of, uh, of sound, is um, the joy giggle or the joy gasm that comes through you. So sometimes <laughs> we'll wake up in the morning or we are here doing something and then suddenly she goes... <laughs> and uh, I even started uh, embodying that one too. It's like suddenly I see myself going like... <laughs> because something feels so good, it's hard to contain it in the body. Oh, yeah. So you want to show us your yeah. joygasm? What does it look like? Oh my gosh, well, it's hard to do on the spot. I just did a little one just like, I don't know, 30 seconds ago. But it's, yeah, it's like, oh my God, it's so good. It gets so good and it's like, I feel like I'm going to explode. Yeah, basically. exactly. <laughs> so this uh, joygasm, mm. yeah, mm. emotion or expression That's of you so is sweet. like... It's oh super, super delicious. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, the third one, I mean, right now she's wearing clothes, but this woman naked in my kitchen, <laughs> cutting fruit, or waking up in the morning, you know, it's like your, your nakedness, the, the, the skin, you mm. putting some makeup in front of the mirror mm. or stuff like that, or in, in the bathroom, just taking a shower. Mm. It's like um, the, the nakedness mm. of, of, of your body is something that is like a pure mystical experience by itself. It's the experience of beauty, the experience of, of innocence, mm. the experience of something that is so pure and so ancient, you know, that's how we were born. It brings me back to a sense of total relaxation because what we do when we are naked is like we remove the shame and the guilt and all the, mm. you know, all we have to lock ourselves in. So you're stopping your life force and life flow by, by doing that. Mm. So when you are naked, what you're saying is like you're, I am. This is my body. This is how I was born. And it's so, so beautiful. It's such a refined, deep experience because it expands me tremendously. Mm. Your nakedness. That's beautiful. Mm. Mm, let me check. Um, the next one is uh, your love. There are so many expressions of how you love, you know. Mm. And uh, sometimes the love is directed to me, sometimes directed to children around you. Sometimes it's directed to people in your tribe. You're allowed to cry, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's so a sweet. yeah, it's um, you know the expression of your love. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I see you taking a, a, one of your female friends or guy friends even in, in your arms, and you go, "Oh, come here," you know, and you cover them with like this mm, care and beauty. It's just like, oh my god, this is like something that is very unique. 
and uh, it's, it really feels, makes me feel really so deeply connected to you. And sometimes when I'm lucky, that love is directed to me <laughs> <laughs> and it will be expressed in the form of just extreme kindness. You know, you will look at me in the eyes and give me some really deep validation about what I do and who I am. Sometimes it will be in, this, in, in touch, you know, I will lay down and you just cover me with, with, with love. And so that's, that's like, oh my God, it's such a deep, deep resonance. It's just the, the various flavors of, of your love. Yeah. You know, when we were in the car the other day and you were having this child in your arms and you were looking at me, you were like, oh my God, look at her. You know, it's like, there's lots of deliciousness there. It's really, really pure. And you see. Oh my gosh, my heart is just like taking it yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, thank you. And um, another one is um, your surrender. I love how you surrender to me. So this is a very powerful one because this woman is not going to surrender to me unless I'm in my full power, unless mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in my truth, in my presence, you know. If I'm you know, out of balance and not really showing up, she goes like, I don't want to surrender to this. I don't want to put myself under that man's authority or power. But when I'm in my full power, you know, for instance, through um, our sexual expression as well, you know, ex experiencing or expressing sensual dominance towards you. And it's like this juicy place where you go like, oh, just, just take me. I want to abandon myself to you. And so that's the, what it does to me is that it really gives me this expansion of, of presence mm -hmm. and male power that allows me to go into my full power. If, if you are competing with me on a power level, mm -hmm. you know, if you are like rev reveling with my power, then obviously my power is not going to be expanded like that. But if you say, I'm yours, do with me what you want, you know, take me or, you know, that, that kind of expression, it's like, it's really, really powerful. And it works, it works via through sex also but through just presence you know just being like hey i ordered some food for you i i take care of you i you know i buy you dinner or you know other other ways of being directive that are really going to mm. yeah to really expand us so um yeah that's it if you're a woman or you are a guy and you are watching this video think about for yourself what are the things that turn you on in in the woman that you love and if you're a woman you know, it's like you can really design and, and bring in qualities, conscious qualities that are going to create sensual, sexy connection with, with your lover. So the ones that I have here again, sounds, joygasm, nakedness, expressions of love and, and surrender. I've got a, another list of 122 of those. <laughs> <laughs> we have videos for next year about oh this topic. <laughs> Bye. Oops. Ow. <laughs> <laughs>